The Environmental Protection Agency just announced grants totaling around $44 million specifically to help combat the dangers of lead contamination in the Granite State. Municipalities across New Hampshire are ramping up efforts to remove lead pipes from water systems. Exposure to lead can lead to heart and kidney diseases, high blood pressure, and impair physical and mental development, especially in children. And President Biden says enough is enough. I don't think there's a damn thing radical about protecting kids from lead poisoning. A new EPA rule gives states and local jurisdictions 10 years to remove all lead pipes from water systems, with the first deadline coming on October 16th. We're um, responsible for, number one, the inventorying of all the service lines, and then number two, a replacement plan of those service lines, and then sampling. Repairs could come at some cost to water utility customers, but a $25 million federal grant will help communities cover some of that cost. Another source of lead is paint. Its use was banned in homes in 1978, but homes built before then may still have it. Another $19 million federal grant is aimed at helping reduce lead paint in buildings. Senator Maggie Hassan responded to the announcement saying in part, New Hampshire's children need safe places to live in order to thrive, but lead-based paint in older homes continues to jeopardize their health and development. Congresswoman Annie Custer saying, the science is clear, there is no safe amount of lead exposure, particularly for young children. Efforts on multiple fronts to eliminate the danger. We're hunting for lead <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll get it out. In Plymouth, Isabel Letters, WMUR News 9.